What's up guys, it's Chris here, the casual flipper, your buddy. Something that I've been getting some feedback on is taxes and bookkeeping and how I do, do, do it on my end. The reason I wanna go over this um, because it's so fundamental to your business. You know, we're all working on the business, flipping, social, all that kind of stuff, but you don't see a lot of content around, you know, the back end, the fundamental, the core of your business, and that is the accounting side. It's not always boring and all that stuff, but I'll try to make this quick, easy, and a little fun, and we'll get the basics down for you so there's some understanding because there's really just not a lot of content out there, especially for Canadian resellers. You know, if you look it up on Google, there's like three or four resources and they're like years old. But a lot of what I say is applicable for US, Canada, Mexico, England, wherever you are, Australia, this is gonna be helpful for you because the thought process behind it is gonna be pretty much the same. Um, so step one, honestly, is just separating your accounts. This is a mistake. If you're just starting, you think, oh, my business is small, but if it scales, it's gonna be painful because your business and your personal expenses are in the same pool. And if this goes on for months, you're gonna to have to go back through and decipher which are business, which are personal, and nobody wants to do that. So just get them separated right off the bat and you'll be very happy you did and your accountant will be even happier. So separate your accounts, that's step one. And then step two, pick up some software. You know, there's QuickBooks, there's uh, Wave, which is what I use, which is nice because cash flow is tight and it's free. Um, which is just really, really nice, the fact that it is free. Now, when you're looking at these programs, you should look at what integrates with it. Um, you know, there's a guy that I know on Instagram and he wanted to use Wave, but he didn't integrate with, with Etsy, so for him, it wasn't super like, ideal. That doesn't matter to me because my payments are going right into my account and it sees it as a deposit, so I'm not looking for it to pull information from Amazon. Um, that's something that I can do on my own. So, step one, separate your accounts. Step two, pick up some software that you can link to your account. It's gonna be super, super important just to you know, have things going in a fluid kind of way. Um, the reason you're gonna to wanna to do this, there's a few key points here that I really wanna knock out to you. Um, for one, is this is gonna give the option to categorize expenses. So if you're buying office supplies and you're buying inventory and software and cell phone bills, internet bills, you now you can categorize this into very clean reports, which is gonna make your accounting a lot easier. When you go to do your taxes, you can see your expenses, you can see your inventory and stuff like that. Um, taxes, it's gonna make that easier like I just kinda of mentioned. Here in Canada, you know, I pay tax on everything that I buy. I know in the US you can get a reseller's license and you will not pay tax at certain stores, so that just makes the whole process a lot easier. But the way we're doing it here in Canada is I remit my taxes every quarter. So I pay tax on the item and then the customer pays tax on the item. So the item is double tax. So I get that money back because the customer ultimately pays for it. In order to track that, I use my accounting software on my inventory and I can calculate it that way. So I just go to reports, I click taxes, boom, there it is. So if I wasn't using software, it would be an absolute nightmare. You know, if you're not doing many transactions, it might not be so bad. You have a few receipts, it's easy to calculate. But most resellers are doing arbitrage and stuff like that and there's a lot of receipts. Um, this is gonna give you the ability to get balance sheets, cash, cash flow statements and stuff like that, which is hugely important if you really wanna understand your business and it's not just money in, money out, you have clear reports that you can actually look back on. Um, so this is gonna be really huge for you and the main thing here is that you're understanding the core of your business. Before I was really looking at this side of things, I had a lot of money coming in and a lot of money going out and it was very difficult for me to know if I'm profitable or not, profit, profitable or not, which is a huge issue. Because like, it's, it's, if someone says to you, this is getting very basic, are you profitable? And you think, yo, yeah, I'm having all kinds of payments. But then you look at your account and it's negative. There's an issue there and it's gonna be hard for you to really figure out what the issue is you don't have a way to track expenses and income and stuff like that. So my plea to you is one, to separate your accounts, two, to get kind of some kind of software, keep all your receipts. Wave has an app on your iPhone that you can scan each receipt into and it will attach it to the transaction. The reason you're gonna to wanna to do this is the points I just mentioned. It gives you a clear image of your business 
And when the tax man comes knocking, you're going to be happy you did it. All right, guys. It's Chris here, the Casual Flipper. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, I'll see you.